Hey guys, Michael MGF here. Today I'm going to be giving you guys basically an update. Um, so yeah, I'm basically just going to show you guys everything that I've been working on for the past week since I haven't made a video in a week. But guys, just don't expect me to make a video like every four days. It's really not easy because I, I don't have something new every a day. I, I don't do that. But um, before I start, I just wanted to mention this. Guys, you may have watched my Mini Fig Maker Pre Vistler review, and I can and I was saying, I said, like C A C A K Clonery Customs, wasn't that great? I mean, he tries really hard. He's he's really awesome at customs. I mean, he's I just personally I think they're both Mini Fig Maker and him are great. Um. When I said terrible, that was just a slip. That should not have came out, and I don't think he's terrible at all. I honestly think he's a, gr I think he's great at customs, and he's also a great guy. So ignore what I said in that video. Just wanted to point that out. All right, now on to what I wanted to show you. Um, so I'm just gonna show you my clone trooper boil custom. That I am, guys. It's like. I don't know, it's like midnight right now and I'm really tired. My family is like asleep, so that's why I make my videos at night. Um, I made a new custom clone trooper boil. I will be making draw and waxer soon. And I'm working on Commander Jet. But, yeah, but for now I'm just going to show you my um, boil. So, he's turning out, he, he turned out good. Um, by the way, guys, JPO1997 designs all my decals. So, yeah. He's got the torso decal with, of course, belt decal. So, that's cool. He's, I think he, mine turned out really nice. I have these little things right here painted. These. Like those little things. Um, believe it or not, this right here, this orange line here, is actually a decal from JPO. Um, and guys, if some of you are thinking that I buy my customs, no, that's completely not true. I make these myself. These are homemade customs. Um, got the little red arrow there with the symbol there. So it looks pretty nice. Arm decals, they turned out good. There. They're the same on each side. Torso's really nice. And the legs. Um... Dutch, aka Clone Killer, if you're watching this, those kneecaps, they look similar to your other ones. Um, but no, they're not the same. These are from JPO. They were his new template, so don't get worried about that. So, yeah, guys, I think he turned out really nice. And then he's got the torso, or the back torso. There. Belt. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Now, I'm going to show you my Noble Team. Well, what I've done to my noble team. First, we'll start with Cat. I improved on her more. The visor, I would definitely say, is better. By the way, guys, his whole noble team is from Halo Reach, if you guys didn't know. New Halo game coming out, so yeah. And I already pre-ordered Legendary for that, so that'll be pretty cool. Um, I'm not ready to give away my Xbox Live gamer tag, because I don't want to get too many spam messages or any of that. Um, next, I got Noble 6. I didn't do anything to him. Except I painted his visor gold. Because it turns out that silver is inaccurate. His visor's gold. So, yeah. And then I got Carter. Who basically I did nothing to him except I painted his visor silver. So, he's nice. My Emil, I did nothing to him except I took off one of the... I added an ammo pack there. Took off the knife from there and re and went over it with paint again. Gave him space police legs and a shotgun with from Mega Blocks, which I actually I know some of you guys are gonna say, traitor, traitor, but I actually think the weapons from Mega Blocks are pretty nice. I trimmed down the back and went over that with paint, so that turns out pretty nice. Um so yeah. Um so then I got George, who I found out many parts of him are actually green. I painted this part of him green. You can see all that like light green. Thanks to Flaming Baby 735 for the for helping me with getting the correct color for that, the green. 
Sorry if you guys can't see it that well. And the backpack is also green. And then we've got the whatever this gun is. It has orange markings on it, so I just added those. So yeah. So that's pretty much it with customs. And before I go on, um, let me get just guys. Let me know if you guys even want me to. I got the new Halo Reach Noble Seven action figure. And I just want to know if you guys want me to review him from Comic-Con. Um, and guys, I have hundreds of action figures, which I probably will show you later in the video. So this is going to be a really long video, so, you know. Um, Alright, so that's really it with figures and stuff. So now, I'm going to go over to my base. Which, I have really nothing updated. Sorry if it's going to be dark, guys. It's not really my fault. It's nighttime, so. Um... So, I've got, over here, I've got the Medic Center, which has my own custom wall design. So that's pretty nice. You, I finally found that a use for that Medic Droid. And then I got clones on be in beds. So, yeah. Um, then I got Plo Koon Starfighter, just up there. And I have great base plates on here because I can't I can't get the plates anytime soon, so that kind of sucks. And before I um, I just wanted to let you guys know, I will be at Brick Fair this Saturday and Sunday. I'll be at Brick Fair along with Perfect here and Lego Boy One through Eight, um, Lego Master Twenty Three, and many other people, um, including Lego Master Studio Seven Eight Nine. Anyways, I got LEDs in here, so that turned out that's pretty nice. See the wire going into there. It's right, you can't see it, but whatever. I'm just going to leave that on. Um, really, I got the, yeah, sorry it's so dark, guys, but it's night, night time where I am, so. Gun racks, and then I have a little place where they can just sit, and then I have um, a clone walking. Bin full of Aerolite micro binoculars, little box. And I got the new 2010 turbo tank with the pilot going inside. And then, um, you can see I got this little area where, um, let me see if I can get my lamp over here. Where, um, you can see I have some stairs going up there, and then inside going up, um, into the turbo tank. Um, so, yeah. Um, so that's really it for my base, and then I got some droids over there. And sorry if you guys hear any background noise, my mom just walked in, so, you know. Um, so, that's really it for that, my base. Got some details in there. Looks nice, and special thanks goes out to Flame Baby 735 for help with the wall design. I thought it was a really nice design, so just made it. Um, now, I am going to go into my room so I can show you guys my action figure collection and such. Um, my room is very messy right now, so ignore all the mess. Um, so here, I got lots of action figure packages. I know, why would I hang up boxes on the wall? I just think for a Star Wars collector, it looks pretty cool. But yeah. I've got loads of Star Wars and Halo figures up there. I mean, it's just really cool to have a really big collection like me. I know I sound really retarded saying that, but, um, yeah. I have to hang up that Stormtrooper poster. Sorry if you hear any background noise. Um, so, yeah. My Xbox and games. But, um, got some Halo action figure packages. Uh, yeah, that's it for my room. I got that awesome poster over there. And you can see, guys, I have tons of figures which the action figure reviews weren't getting a lot of views so basically I just cut them off temporarily because you guys don't want to see that you guys want to see my Lego creations and my custom clones so that's what I'm going to show you guys um I'm going to try to keep it that way for now um yeah so post your comments below and before I end this video I just wanted to give a, um, a shout out to Perfectern. He quit LEGO Star Wars, which is a really stupid move. But 
he's still pretty cool. He's, he now makes World War II and Halo. So subscribe to him as well. You don't have to, but, you know. So that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.